Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about drills to cure your early extension. Hey guys, Eric here at the Bethlehem Golf Club. Want to tell you what you're about to see in this video here, drills to cure your early extension. Now, this is actually one of our full early extension masterclass that we put together. Over 22 videos, an uh, hour and a half of content, and a 30-day practice plan to really guide you through step-by-step -step how to finally cure your early extension. If you're someone who's struggled with early extension for a long time like I have, I know this will really help you. So I do urge you to check it out. We'll put the link in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We have the feet, we have the legs. Now let's start to talk about how the hips work. So in terms of the early extension, the main problem that comes up is that the hips relative to where they are in space, pelvis, whatever, this portion of your body starts to work which way? In towards the ball. And we want what? We want to be able to maintain depth. So that's part of it. We don't want our hips working forward this way. We want them maintaining the depth or even getting slightly deeper when you go back. That would be something if you've seen a chair drill against your butt. We'll get to the drills later on, um, but that's one of them. But really the part that goes with that goes along with everything else. We said early extension is all about how much you extend in terms of when you do it and rotation, so the order of it. So when you early extend, right, your hips go too far forward, we want that, but they also don't rotate, okay? So part of getting rid of this is just from the top, you need to turn them first and then extend them later. We're gonna get into a drill in the field later on for that, but instead of this, I'm still doing this motion in a real swing, I'm just doing it out here. Right? So it's not as though I need to eliminate that hip motion. All I really want to do is add rotation to that earlier and have that hip extension later. Is that becoming a common theme here? Hopefully that's kind of sticking in. So how do I do this? Well, um, I'm going to focus less in the beginning on me going this way or trying to stay deep and more on the uh, turning part. So with that, part one would say, I'm going to make a backswing and from here, I want my left hip to feel like it goes this way and around. So more, more kind of specifically, I want my left hip to go down towards the ground and around as I swing. I don't want this way towards the target. I don't want up. If my left hip goes up, my left leg did what? Did it bend more or did it straighten? My left hip went up, my left leg straightened. What did we say before about the legs? Is straightening the legs good for us or bad for us as an early extender? bad for us. How do I keep my left leg more bent? What if I got my left hip to go down? Now my left leg is what? More bent. Left leg more bent means automatically my butt needs to go where? More back. My butt more back automatically means my chest needs to go where? More down. Okay, you see where this is going here. Left hip goes down this way towards the ground and back behind me as it rotates. My right hip stays more level as it turns in. I don't want this. I don't want this. I want left hip down and around. I'm trying to get my belt buckle towards the target sooner. Get both of my butt cheeks back towards the camera. And I would do this similar to my knees bending. I'm gonna do it right off the bat and I'm gonna exaggerate accordingly. So little half one always, pitching was nine iron, eight iron, a little short one. Now I'm gonna feel from here, my left hip going down and around and my belt buckle towards the target. So let's go ahead and try that. Little half one, belt buckle down, left hip down and around. Good, and that's another one that felt excellent. Now as we're getting to this leg part, right, we go through the feet, the legs, and we're talking about the hips, and we're gonna eventually go through the upper body. I may give you literally 50 feels here. Of course, you don't do 50 at the same time. What I'm looking for for you is to diagnose which one affects you the most, pick one, two, or a handful, and do them together. The reality is, if I do the hips right, left hip down and around, automatically my pressure goes where? Towards my left heel. Automatically my legs do what? bend and turn. So one of these things should probably fix three or four, but same sort of thing. Left hip, left side of my pelvis goes down and around, belt buckle towards the target. Little half one first to start, giving myself feedback then. Left hip down and around. Good, and that feels really excellent. All these when I do it, again, I feel the previous thing sort of uh, starting to come in. So that's the hip motion, down and around with the left, 
rotation right away, get the turn first, and then you can extend as much as you want. Let's now start to talk about how the torso and the upper body work. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed uh, that video. Another reminder, this was just one of our full early extension masterclass. We'd really love for you guys to check it out. If you've been struggling with early extension, there are fixes for that. Um, the price point on the early extension masterclass will be good for this week only. As of Friday night at midnight, it's gonna go up. Now, if you are a KagornoGolf.com member or would like to be one, all members of KagornoGolf.com do get all of the masterclasses for free. Something to keep in mind. We'd love to see you there. All of the information here will be in the description down below. Thank you, guys.